Hey everybody, it's been a minute, but uh, I'm back. I knew you guys missed me so much. <laughs> um, actually, I released, I had been recording this song uh, that I was going to do today. It was a rap song, but I can't get my computer to cooperate. So we're going to punt and I'm going to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. What I've been wanting to talk about is the relationship that I have with my mother. Um, I get a lot of compliments, um, I get a lot of people that, um, uh, say they really respect me and my mother's relationship, um, they think we're great, they really admire how we've grown as a mother and son, they admire how close we are, and I just want to talk about that, I want to explain some of the things that have kind of went on that have made us that way because it's not just from being a mother and son. I mean, we definitely have our differences and our problems just like anybody else, but there are certain things that have happened that have made us grow closer. To understand me and my mom, first you got to kind of understand that uh, my mom didn't have me when I was real young or when she was very young. That wouldn't make any sense. My mom had me when I was really young. Um, no, she had me when she was like 25. Um, I was planned. So, you know, there's nothing crazy there. But the main thing that we had was my mother and my biological father got divorced when I was, I want to say, two or three. And we immediately moved in to the town of York to my first stepdad and my stepdad at the time Dean he had two kids Nick and Cassie and we lived in a house uh, in a junkyard in York and um, things were fine for a while for a few years and Dean was a good stepdad he did a lot of things for me um, I was definitely more drawn to my mom I can remember those days uh, her drawing a lot of cartoons. We would listen to music together. Um, she would always have uh, have help me do things that I wanted to do. And one of the things that I always wanted to do was well, I always wanted to record songs. And uh, I can vividly remember being in a uh, house in York, and we got this little tape recorder. And the song Peaches by the Presidents of the United States had just come out, and I just loved the song. So on a rainy day, we sat around and we recorded the song, and it was just its a really memorable moment. Uh, life moved on after that. Um, she split up from we. She split up from Dean, and we moved into a little house in York, and. Uh, she decided that she wanted me to be closer to my biological father, dad, my dad, Steve. Um, many of you probably know my dad, Steve and Cody. Um, and I think that was a good move. Um, I don't know that it was necessarily taken advantage of. Uh, me and my dad really didn't get a bond until I was much older. Um, I love my father, but we just didn't really understand each other for the longest time. And uh, my mom went through a really rough dating period. I can remember um, a lot of problems back then, uh, a lot of guys coming in and out of my life. Um, but I can remember the very first time that me and my mom moved into a house and my dad took me to the side and he said, you're the man of the house, you got to take care of your mom. And that really just struck me and from then on I knew that I would always be her support system and I knew she'd be mine because she already was and I knew that that was just really important to be there for her. So when this start, stuff started coming up, um, boyfriends were in and out. I can remember one time a drunk boyfriend came over and they had recently split up and he came by and was like, yo, where's your mom? He was screaming at me from the street in his truck and I was at the steps of my house and I said that's none of your business or that's or something along those lines and he screamed back to me that he that I had turned into a mousy little 
we'll save that for later. Um, and he sped off into the distance, but I've always had that ingrained in me that I had to protect my mom, and she was working, you know, a couple jobs back then just to support me, and I was having a hard time in school, and we just struggled. We were both struggling. Um, I was creating a lot of problems for her, uh, behavior-wise. Grades in school were terrible, and it was just hard. High school came, and uh, we she was married once again to a guy named Brian. Um, he had a stepdaughter, but he didn't have custody of her, so he would see her every once in a while. But he moved into the house, which created a new dynamic. But we were all we were still close. Um, I remember Brian would oftentimes get jealous because I wanted one on one time with my mom, and um, he resented that fact, and I think it led to some problems with him because he had jealousy issues with the fact of how close we were and you know he didn't have that unfortunately with his stepdaughter which you know I can see and but it really he really took it out on their marriage from my perspective but um, high school went well because I finally had freedom away from the house and um, I finally got a job and I started doing a little bit better in school and I started handling my business a little bit more and really understanding all the stuff my mom had done for me and we really started to grow our relationship because I would start to confide in her um, when I was dating my long-term girlfriend in high school, my high school sweetheart and she moved away to college and I was still in town. I can remember going to her and uh, listening to her advice or when, you know, I was having problems with girlfriends or whatnot, she gave me a woman's perspective, which was great, and I'm really grateful to have that around. Uh, once I moved out is when I believe the bond really began to take a lot more strength because I didn't have her there and to oh that's her texting me right now <laughs> um i just think you know it made us a lot stronger being apart what mom hold on i'm making a video about us right now stop texting me <laughs> uh you know it just made us a lot stronger because i finally realized that you know your parents aren't always going to be there and you really start to understand that bond and you really understand that connection between a mother and child. Ooh, that's my crush texting me right now. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's stupid. Um, I really start to understand those things more and, you know, what we would do a lot of things like we would go out. Uh, we started going out to concerts together and we started bonding over our mutual love of music we would rent UFC pay-per-views together, um, and our bond just really grew from that. And that's the thing that I guess I'm really trying to get, the main thing I'm really trying to get across to those people that say, I hope my relationship with my child, whether it be your son or your daughter, is as close as your guys' is, is just take the time and grow with each other. Like, there was definitely bad times. Me and my mom had a big uh, split up many years back, and we talked out our differences. We yelled. We screamed because um, we were apart for, like, I don't know, three or four months from each other. We were sick of each other, um, and we talked it out, and the bond made us stronger, and it's happened a few times over and over, and, you know, we just talked it out. We learned more and more about each other. Um, personally, we've learned how to deal with each other. Uh, a big thing that's really drawn us together is our mental health. Um, she is the one person in my life that I can really point to that, um, has been a big advocate for me to take care of my own mental health. She has her own issues that I won't speak on because that's her business, but she has really helped relate what's going on in her head with me and 
you know, been brave enough to share what's going on with her, even though she has past experiences with someone that she cared about being sharing too much and she didn't want to do that but uh i just feel like we have a bond that's close enough that we can share that with each other and that's what really makes us strong so uh that's what i really wanted to talk about today uh, i hope you guys got something out of it and i hope you guys have a great week because it's thanksgiving week and it's time to get fat just kidding i'm on a diet so <laughs> this sucks um i'll see you guys sometime soon i love you guys